want to go. Okay, I'll try to um, get Atalanta in a better spot as we're going around. So we're going to come around this feature here. Yeah. This way, but we're you know slightly offset from it, but that's okay. Fine. Okay, I will. I'll see hang here until we've got Atalanta yeah, yeah. to sort of. It's coming a little out. bit further, and I will probably go northeast with it too. I think I can just go close to where you are and be all right. Yeah. So let's see, we go a little more this way. Probably. Okay, I'm gonna go 20 meters, zero, five, zero. Bridge nav. Step two, zero meters, bearing zero, five, zero. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, no, I want to fly around this. Yeah, one of you, you can go for a change. I've got snacks. I've got snacks. Okay, uh, AJ or Megan, sorry, we're just going to wait on the Atalanta getting into a better position before we start going around this. Sure, sounds great. All right. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Nav will help us put the ship in the right position. Rennie. Yeah, which so we're way, which way we've been taking to the grotto these days? Because we used to go through Rogers Pass, but then somebody came up with a new way the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Not that I care which well, way we do. One that makes more sense. Um, yeah, we uh, we're following these cables around to the east side and checking on the instruments and the cables themselves. Um, and which is going to be up here on the terrain map, but for us it'll probably look more like this. You're going down slow there, Dave. Not that it matters. And um, we're just waiting on leash from Atlanta. I moved it a bit north and we were, that was settling out and then I went zero four five or something like that. So kind of coming around. Not sure. 
knowing that there's a bunch of vents right in front of her. What am I looking at, Dave? <laughs> Ooh, that's massive. <laughs> wow. Man, Atalanta is really slow moving. Doesn't move fast. No, very painfully slow. <laughs> painfully slow. Yeah, I got a little bit of leash, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Round the outside to begin with. Yeah. So, yeah, outside, orange and blue. Well, that's your problem right there. <laughs> <laughs> and problem number one. <laughs> Come on, Atalanta, why are you moving? Might have to step the ship further, mate. There's a, there is a bit of, well, down here anyway, there's a fair bit of current. Yeah, yeah. I'm pushing go. right through there. Let's go um, zero two five, I guess. If I just kind of do some backwards math of where I put it, so it should be over here. All right. Bridge nav. Let's step two zero meters, bearing zero two five. Thank you. Let's see if I come to regret that. There are a lot of vents around here. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm watching Atlanta's uh, monitors. And All right, cool. So good. That's two. That's a couple of us then. All we'll right, good. Blame the other one when it does Great. When run into something. Where are you watching it? <laughs> he said it. Said Ed, play back the tape. He said he was watching it. Play back the tape. <laughs> There's a bit of current, huh? All right, I'm going to hang around here for now because we're starting to stretch out a reasonable amount. Roger. Roger. I think it was a couple of years back we had a, a loss of DP while we were up here and we just did a tour of all the vents. So it was like, well, if we're going to fall off anyway, might as well stop at the vents and look at them as we keep falling. Mm -hmm. So Dan was perched on them until we got tugged away and we'll go to the next vent. <laughs> There's not a lot going on at the surface. You can't see the drag on the cable. Yeah, yeah. All right, where are we in? It's That'll coming. be behind us, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Given our offsets, I would expect we're nearly there as far as seeing the instruments. Ugh, come on, Atalanta. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing me in front of the wizards. Not in front of the guys. Oh, they're running straight up. Something's going straight up anyway. Oh, yeah, I see that. That would be, is that the 
the current bars that's in there? It could be. That's yeah. yeah, there's two. So we got a hydrofilm, a camera, and a bars. Well, the two we've been following mm -hmm. are these two, and then there's a green one intersecting with it now. Yeah, where they? Who so invited the, the blue. green one? Blue one turn in, turns into green? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> wait a second. Yeah, wait so, a I think the blue and the green are both Gonzo cables. Oh, yeah. We're at that site. Oh, yeah. Rock Slide City. So, the blue one comes back underneath. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the blue one. Okay. <laughs> We're worried more about the orange ones. The orange, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah, this is where the blue one ends. Oh, I see a giant piece that fell off, huh? A lot of that back here. It's like inching towards you, but yeah, that's our crushed helmet. I don't want to overshoot it either, but we should be getting, we should be there with the moves that I gave in. Yeah, that's right. So this is where we get to our shelf that we sort of. This is mo a lot of our grotto instrumentation is up above. Yeah, can I can see, see the cables in front going up. up. Yeah, oh, yeah so that's right. Them, so yeah. just follow those up. One will be for our new bars, and one will be for the RAS PPS. Okay. Is, is there a bars in there? There is already bars in there, okay. but we're going to be swapping it. Swap the bars. And there's Ooh. a camera platform which will have lights on, hopefully, uh, that we will be swapping out for our RAS PPS. Is, are the lights on now? They should be. Okay. We'll see. It's going to come around. There's a little bit of an overhang there. Look. Yeah, I see that. Yep. You're going to turn your down light off there, Dave. Oh, I see the camera light. It's just in the top of Atalanta. It's just right there. Yep. Is this where Tempo Mini used to be? Yes, it's in, this, in right. this region, yeah. That, I think that blue cable was the Tempo Mini cable. Huh. Yeah, There's right. a lot of used to be, and that got destroyed. I see here. to the right down there. Well, when you see the cliff, you'll understand. What's that instrument down there to the right? Is that the hydrophone? Yeah, that's okay. the hydrophone. All right, confirmation, visual. That, those cables got trapped, and a few of them got severed, but there was one connector that we plugged into that was still working, so we brought the hydrophone down to it. That must have been a fun one. I think that was it right was after we visited, right? It was a ridiculous connection, that's for sure. Yeah. Ah, oh, the memories. I miss Tempo Mini. <laughs> and it was like on a corroding stand. Whatever it was sitting on was just falling apart. Yeah. That same organization operates one of those vessels. It was in the, just in the North Atlantic. Atlante, I think it is. Yeah, this looks like it. Where do you want to go from here? So, this is a great visual, and maybe we can, um, Nav, we can drop a mark here. Roger, can do. And then we're going to look to the left for, yeah, for some vents. Uh, we're going to go try to find the bars, which I think is looking like it's there. And we're going to see if there's a suitable location within reach of the cable for the new bars and for the uh, RAS PPS. So, Um, yeah, so Steve on shore, uh, let us know if you see any areas suitable for the RAS PPS and the bars. <laughs> looking for you. Yeah, there's a lot of black smoke there. Look at that. The green cable just going into nothingness. <laughs> yeah, it might be, might turn into um, some just light excavation. Yeah. I think green cable's going to Mordor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was good. Can we do anything to improve that image a bit, Ed? Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of light just kind of murking it up, but let me take out my black levels down. Just, whoa, throw them off my white balance and my black balance. And I'm going to take a position yeah. there. That's roughly where the no. camera is. And this is MEF. This is um, the float that's on the wand cable for the bars. Click. OK. 
Okay, enough of that. Yeah, that, that tracks with the offset again, so we're kind of locked in. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, thanks for that, Ed. It's nice. red bit in there. So I think what we want to do is go and get a little look at that. Oh, I see the bars. And then, cable, yeah, this is yeah. the cable. Yeah, I was like, what is the red bit? Here, I'll, the I'll make uh, Ed Kay. happy. That's the cable. Oh, there yeah, you there go. You go. The float. Beauty. That's the wand, I think. Yeah. Looks like, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, let me see what we can do here. Don't really know where the pig is. <coughs> I guess it's got to be down here somewhere. Oh. Uh. Yeah, but the cable runs. I think we just need to follow the end of the cable. So you think maybe like this is the cable coming back up there somehow? There's an awful lot of shimmering going on in there. Yeah, yeah, it's true. There's lots of places we can um, try to get in there. Dirk sounds excited for these uh, deployments. You think there might be something down to the left of us? I'd like to sort of maybe see, um, like, in here a little better, just to see if that cable runs into a bars. Over here. To into the, the we're into looking the for the, right. the pressure vessel. Yeah, yeah, it kind of looks like it, there's something maybe tucked behind. understand that. Yeah, I can't bars tell. cable. There's a float that goes down to like nothing. I know. That's what we're. So the is the only it reason for it to come back down like oh, that would be if there was. Wait, like is that the pressure vessel right there? On the right or the left? No, I think. Uh, stand by. So are we thinking that? <laughs> but is there. This is, that's the pressure vessel, and this is the probe. Is that what we're thinking? I thought it was the opposite. Yeah. But no, I think. Well, because we got this cable, it's got to plug into the it, bars. It right? doesn't make sense that the. Oh, uh, see, Dirk. Dirk might be right. He thinks that they actually threw the pressure vessel in the back. It looks like that cable just runs around like that. Huh. Wow. So that's where's the green covered. cable going to? Oh, you're oh, right. This is yeah, this has to be the, this be has to be the pig it. here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh my. It's buried. Whew. These tube worms have had their day. Yeah, or it was somewhere. This might be the probe? Don't know. Hard to say. We can try and come around, steady up a bit, maybe get a good zoom in on it if you want. Yeah, that sounds good. That, oh, I think I see the pig. Yeah, it's the pig, right, think, right this, there. Yeah, that's the pig, yeah, because it. it's got the, oh the foul mat coming out the bottom. Yep. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man, this is active. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good adjective. I can feel my toes getting warm. <laughs> <laughs> now having to float on the cable makes a lot of sense. Bars died October 2022 only lasted two months, so it is likely buried in there. Sure looks like it's buried. <clears throat> Encased. Yep. This looks like how Hawaii started. Yeah. When the dinosaurs were around? Yeah, when I was in high school. <laughs> Are you a 70s child too? <laughs> no, <laughs> 60s. 
Oh, man. Early, <laughs> early 60s. Proper Ancient. Neanderthal. Yeah. When did you start walking on two legs? <laughs> Here, I'll tell you this. When I was a kid, my phone number was Trinity73274. One of those wasn't a number. Yeah, what? It was in a phone box. <laughs> That's why there's Ooh. letters on a phone, because you would dial the extension first. There are Trinity and Greenwood and Mohawk. Is that the one there? Like TR7. Uh, what? The yeah. probe? Talking yeah, the one. It the goes probe. underneath? That kind of looks like a... It's definitely mm -hmm. part of the... A it's cable. Yeah. Or is that just a piece? That's just a like a shelf. I don't know. Let's have a look. You can zoom. I'm going to uh, bubble up on the brow there. It's hard in the shadow. Yeah. I can get in there and pump it up. Go ahead. Coming in real right quick. Oh, man. That doesn't look like anything recognizable. Uh, no. A shelf. No. It's a shelf. Yeah, it's too hard to see where that cable runs because it's like tucked in. Maybe we just yank on the float. I think maybe it's tucked in above the pig. No, um, I'm lost here. Is there any way that we could get in a little like more on an angle? If we come forward and we from yeah, look from around this port? side. Yeah. Yeah. Just to see kind of in, into that. <laughs> the arrow just looked bit. like you're like, is there any way we could just get yeah. in? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Like, I was just, just, just put man. the sop in the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, is there any way we could just uh, go ahead and... Uh, At least I'm framing it in the form of a question. Yeah, no, that's very good. Yeah, no. Excellent. He's Appreciate that. You're properly dancing the dance. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So what do you want to see? Um, yeah, this is a great view, but keep, if, if we keep coming down, I'm just curious where the, yep. the end of that cable goes, if we can see anything. Looks like it goes in, same, like same straight the into the rock, yeah. That's all, I mean, oh, man. we're not trying to salvage any of this, just remove it if possible, right? Uh, what is... It it does look no. like it's been grown over. Yeah. That's I think that's anything. the probe. That's so yeah. that's hooked onto the float. I could get yeah, in. Yeah, could it yeah, could this it, does that look like metal to you? Could be. It's it's got that material around it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's wrapped. So we think this is it here. Oops, sorry. Wrong tool. Wrong tool. Uh, Go away. Just yeah, like that. Oh, you think that's a probe? I think that might have been the vent at one time. It's just grown okay, out around yeah. it. Yeah, if this, yeah, it could have been this vent, right? And then the back comes down and then up. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think we can keep going. Why'd you guys put this stuff here? It just gets grown over. Because it's fun. Yeah. yeah. You, you probably put, put it, it for here. you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Well, we right. thought we were doing right. it for you. And that's just. So, <laughs> where, do you, where are we going now? Um, okay, so I think. I think we've got a good look here. I think there's definitely some locations that we could put the bars and the RAS PPS up this hill. I think we're we're pretty comfortable with that. So um, now I think we'll come around. Hard to hard to draw it on on nav, but I think we'll come around this whole oh, tower man. counterclockwise. Fancy. Okay, you want to go that way? That's uh, we got to position the vehiculars that direction. Every time I look at that top monitor, I think you just drew a line straight up the middle. Then I realize it's a cable. <laughs> uh, okay. So do we need to find a <coughs> cable down here again, or am I no, just no, following it round the top? There's no cable. Yeah, just just keep keep yourself off the shelf, like off the vent, essentially. 
and just and, and make our way around uh, okay. to the starboard side. Uh, okay. And it's then what, what's the game after that? Just because I'm trying to position the other one. Um, there's the Maris interface unit we're going to go scout. So that's, uh, I don't know if you have that on. I don't have that. It's kind of on the northwest side of Grotto. Okay. We're doing kind of a big uh, counterclockwise loop. Yeah, okay. And yeah. then back through Rogers yeah, Pass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, how do I want to do that without burning up everything? So, are we going to attempt to recover that or just let it be? We're going to cross that bridge. I'm going to go later. one five meters at zero two five, and it should put Atalanta kind of okay. close to where you are, but yeah. a little bit behind. That works. That cable go slow. Can be reused. Bridge now. Step one five meters, bearing zero two five. One five meters, fifteen meters, bearing zero two five. Thank you. Let's see if that works. Has it always been this active? I feel like it's more smoky than usual. I uh, well, there's a huge rock slide on that. Like, I think a bunch of it fell over and, and started venting more last year. Yeah, that's nuts. Like a locomotive. Can you just have that looking at back down at the yeah, porch, sure mate, please? Cause yeah. I had a friend watching, and he said, should yeah. I be concerned about the black smoke? Should I alter There's the a truckload behind it mm -hmm. as well. Look. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to see. It's a good place to fire a Niskin. Yeah, just, just get in there. Right. There's a piece just, just floating up in the in the vent, but it was kind of like staying suspended. Like, a uh, piece of Niskin? Uh, no, a piece of the... <laughs> piece of Niskin. <laughs> piece of Niskin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should get that. Let's get that port camera up. It's <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> Yeah, this is extensive. Wow. Are we uh, are we waiting for a yes. Atalanta yes. move? Yeah. In order to go around that way, we we I if can we just stay, creep around a bit. Yeah. We gotta have the otherwise we're putting the tether right in the vent, so we gotta move a bit. While we're waiting for the move, yeah. do you think we could get up to the top in order to get a photogrammetry pass? You can do whatever you want. Well, I mean, I know you guys probably don't want to be in the smoke. Uh, Not particularly. I mean, material in the water might might make a photogram. So it's very, very difficult. That computer set up for still, so I'll grab it's going to be hard to photograph. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. it's yeah maybe <laughs> that's a, a little image. bit too smoky. No, this is it. We're not doing a full one. We're just do whatever we can. Doing a opportunistic. Yeah. Roger. Yeah. Well. So taking pictures all the time as long as you set that up. The whole the whole time we're around here, you can be just kind them. of follow it up and down. Yeah. And make your way around, kind of like we did yesterday. That's something else that's going right below yeah. me there. And that's there's a vent. Ed, is it possible to record the stills camera feed? Just there as well. Yeah, I think. Below me. What do you reckon here, fellas? Confused by Atalanta's heading. What's up? Well, we're facing away, and Herc's in a different position. Oh no, that's no. It's just slightly off center. If you yeah. centered it up, it'd be fine. Yeah. Data logger, I'm starting to record the digital still camera GUI at uh, one eight five zero UTC on recorder for Charlie. Okay, great. Thank you. <coughs> Keeping an eye on that there. Oh, you know what's confusing me is that camera light. Yeah, I. 
I suspected you thought that was Herc, but it's not. Yeah. So Herc is like already facing us ish close. Yes, to I'm it. almost back to facing south. Okay. Yeah. Did we ever get the bars out of this wall? Out of the wall? Yeah, one of them got grown over. Uh didn't we tried last year to get one of one out of something we failed and then there was another one that we couldn't find or something. There was the autonomous one that we couldn't get <coughs> at. And there was this out. one. I think we got this one, but it, it it had been like completely the cable had been burnt through and oh, the whole thing yeah, had flooded. That's right, yeah. You happy with how that's sitting? I'm just watching it. I don't I don't know where it is in the vent smoke. It should be up behind her and up enough, but I don't know where the I can come up a little bit more. We are mo on the move. It's coming. Should yeah, be coming I don't around. I basically want to come out here, so I've got a free space here now. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm then kinda good there, good with that for now until it catches up again. Yeah. Can we change Atalanta heading to more to port? So we're kind of looking up this uh, this tether because we're that's the way we're coming. Roger, Atlanta yeah. heading to port. This is the part of the horror movie where we see yep. a giant eye open. Yeah. Okay, you want it's Herc centered, ready? That's good there, yeah. All right. We'll be yeah do you want to lift that arm up? Around. Trenny, if you could let me know when Atalanta's sort of done swinging and we're okay to carry on. Yeah, Raj, it's gonna, if we're going to circumnavigate it, it's going to be a bunch of these. So it's going to be a lot of little moves. A lot of okay. little ones, threading right. that Dante needle. Um, that's, that's so we're, we're on the way. I'm going to keep calling them in. Are we ready? So we're going to do a little pilot switch first. Now, I think I could go north 10 meters. I'm going to go north. North 10, maybe? No, don't want to. Yeah, I know you. Whoa, that was maverick. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, here, here we are, Trevor. So this is Grotto. Yep. This is this. Yep, Grotto's here. We're facing, so the tether is kind of, kind of over mm -hmm. that business. So I'm trying to business. get us over here. Yeah, Roger. Um, we moved. Atalanta's still moving a little bit. I think I'll go another. And and what we're meant to do is completely circ circumnavigate this and eventually through Rogers Pass and Kay. come back around. So Sounds good. let's see if uh, what are you heading through? If I had north ten. That ought to get us sort of in the zone. Just gonna pick up a little. And just so you know, Rennie, the yes. seismometer that we're going to is kind of north of Rogers Pass. So we're not just going to come straight back around through Rogers Pass. We're going to head. Is a it this seismometer chain here? Um, yes, it is. Okay. But that looks really that looks really far. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, sorry, that's um. It's not that far. It'll be 20 yeah, meters. That's right. So, yeah, yeah. It'll be so here. Somewhere. Exactly. Okay. So that's where we're gonna go. Okay. So I'll still. I'll just step 10 north, and then maybe curve. We'll see where we can get. And Bridge. um, Trevor, right. we're just doing Bridge some now. opportunistic photogrammetry passes. So if you could sort of some go yellow on that down. cable over there, north. AJ, you see that? Thank you. Sorry, Ed. Uh, <coughs> right in here. See that yellow? Yeah. That might be your probe or something. I don't know. Yeah, that could be the handle. We couldn't see it before. Yeah, we're still okay. moving. We're calling a lot of small ship moves. Hey, AJ, I missed the direction you want me to go. We're doing opportunistic photogrammetry. So yeah, so we're just going up, down, and slowly circumnavigating around to our starboard as Atalanta kind of moves its way through. Yeah, Roger. Have we gone okay. down past this uh, kind of flange at the base of my screen right now? Uh, we haven't. We're not doing it in an incredibly organized way, so feel free to just go up and down. You're asking me 
to look at chimneys and just cruise around and enjoy them. Yeah, that's exactly right. Terrible. We have the down facing stills camera going. So that's what's getting a lot of the, the underside. Yeah, Roger that. You do not have to ask me twice. Oh, you did actually, because I didn't hear you, but. <laughs> so. Immediately. All right. And actually, how do you think that makes me feel? Yeah. Uh, overshadowed by Ed's volume. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Ed just Hopefully. boosts himself. Right. You guys can't even hear the final mix that goes to air. <laughs> what, do you auto-tune it? Yeah, I got you guys all filtered like helium speakers. <laughs> I really want to go farther, but it's not responsible. Quick pilot. Jeez. We're going to change over here video. I'm out. Rudder. Enjoy. Good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> bonk. What am I bonking? Stop bonking things. What? There's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing. What? It's Grotto. There's nothing behind me. It's just it's Grotto just by itself? Stuff beside me. There's a lot of chatter going on. Oh, well, is this the thing after you eat? Yeah. You're doing? Yeah. All you my life. Doctors for that. I no, I know. I'm well familiar. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I was just joking around. I no, I don't care. You can tease me for my medical problems. That's fine. <laughs> oh, now you just made me look the, the worst human on earth. Gosh, why would you say that? <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> that is funny. Hey, AJ. Hey, Trevor. Nope. Hey. Nope. Dirk J. Dirk J. Hey, nope. Dirk J. No, it's still AJ. Hey, Dirk J. A A Dirk. Never. Um, yeah, I'll never say nope. Dirk J. Um. <laughs> there's a remember, how? There's a camera right there. Yeah. Oop, I think Roger. We're, we're supposed to be moving to our starboard. Yeah, I just yeah. can't get there right now. Yeah, we're we're working on it. Yeah, that's it's gonna it. take like an hour at least. Thank you, Josh. Um, hey, AJ. Yes. How hard of a ground fault would you like to run this your CTD to before we turn it off? How much is too much? Um, that's a that's a question for Jeb. Okay. Why? What is it at? Same as it's been all dive, 47 kilo ohms. But, I'll ask uh, Jeb at lunch. I would say keep it going until we see it change. Roger that. Hey, AJ. <laughs> yeah. How would you feel if we turned it off for a moment just to make sure it is actually, in fact, your instrument and not ours? If you turn it off, we'll need to turn off drivers first or else things will go crazy. Yeah, that's why I'm chatting Ooh, instead of just go giving her. Yeah. Sean, is that something you can arrange? I can turn it off. Okay. That would be super swell. So yeah. Let's do that for a second. Okay, let me let me uh, turn it off first yep. and after I give you the confirmation. Hopefully it works right now. Everything always works. All the time, no matter what. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Um. <coughs> so we're approaching we're the top of the here. Grotto top. The 2185. Probably 2184. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's that camera? Oh, it's below me on to my right. That's great. That time you said I'm going to go head right, AJ, I just completely ignored you and went left instead, so you know. Yeah. That's after All right, Trevor, uh, driver stopped. He can power cycle if you want. Okay. Go ahead, Josh. CTD is off. Oh, Roger. You'd probably turn off the ICL as well. ICL? Well, you know what? Maybe leave it on. We'll see if that's, uh, see if the CTD's a ground fault first.
I wonder if the camera's getting cool shots of the underside of Herc. Uh, what? What camera? What? The camera you told me about. The camera I told you about? What would you tell me about that camera? The camera that's underneath <laughs> Herc. The one that... <laughs> Josh. Is this thing ever going to try and get another reading? It's a good if it's a big change, it takes a moment. Ah. Which is good. That means it's probably the well, CTV. Well, that wasn't that big. Huge! Can you turn the ICL off? Uh, you want to wait for another one or no? Sure. Great idea. What's the IC? What's the, that's the, the, the lollipop. The, 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 oh, never mind. IGT is the gas type. ICL is the vehicle side. They both have lollipops. Lollipop. What? Um, never mind. I know what that is. How are we doing? Are we? Avalanche position looks a lot scarier than it is on there because I, I, feel, I feel good about it in the camera. Okay, where are we headed next? Check in with them. No, I mean with the Atalanta. I want to keep cruising around yeah. to the right. So where are we going next? Bye. 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 You can take it. You can get set up. No problem. Burp. Get another update? Yeah, it looks like it. Did I? Yep. Yeah, I sure did. Okay. Well, that didn't let's, do much. Let's try turning off the ICL. All right, roger that. ICL is off. What is this? What is the Ethernet on for? That's uh, the digital stills camera. Roger. D. S. C. D. C. L. I don't think that's quite right. Hey, now we got a Dirk. He's on comms, but... Oh, a fresh, fresh headset, eh? Right on. He's sitting there, and he says his headset's still in the bag, which is 10 feet that way, and he doesn't go up and get it. He just sits there and looks at me like I'm supposed yeah. to get it. That means we're in charge, dude. What is he doing? Okay. To, to I'm going to look at what I want. <laughs> yep, that's it. You're dive chief. Look at this. Look at this cool stuff. Uh, that's shimmery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, uh, all right. Great. Oh, are you excited are to doing? see all this cool stuff? Yeah, great. Yeah, thanks yeah for this is really interesting. <coughs> I, I've never seen this cool stuff before. Can we uh, keep swinging on into Grotto, to the zone of the stuff? Okay, Do zone you want of the stuff. Better words than that, or you got it figured out? Um, well, I'm just trying to figure out the best direction for Atalanta. I think you want to send Atalanta right over there. Yeah, but I'm worried. Yeah, that there's stuff in the way. Oh, absolutely. But that's that's, <laughs> that's totally fine. There's Should I just move here. north instead of, you know? So, there's the camera. Ooh, that's so blinding. Oh, wow. Turn your high beams off. Um, I think if you move straight, what direction is this? Straight north is fine. Atalanta's heading right now is 330. So if you go straight north, you should be great. Okay. I'll make a 10 meter move. Roger. Bridge nav. Hi, good afternoon. We Is are so ready for a ship move. We'd like to go 10 meters north. Thank you. Oriel, go closer to the mic. Um, we can go a point two now. Point, point two is good. I'll turn them up. I can see why you traded chairs, uh, Trevor. <laughs> what? I can see why you swapped out the chairs back here. Well, we need the armrest for this. No, 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 we need the armrest. I don't stability. know if it's an armrest thing. It's, it's tippy. No, it's an armrest thing. thing. You can lock it out. You yeah, can? You it's just to. a lever, dude. Yeah, buddy, it's just a chair, man. Just a chair. I was going to say, if you want to switch, I don't actually out. like <laughs> arms. Oh, no, this is fine. I locked it. Oh. Thanks, Josh. Oh. It was very that helpful. was Trevor who said that. I was making fun of you. He was being helpful. Oh, thanks, Trevor. <laughs> For the record, Dirk's the engineer. We're the operators. Straight. We know how to operate the technology. <laughs> High tech chairs. Yeah. They it are. took me a second to figure out your chair. Yeah, it's like it's toggles. Got some, you know yeah. what I would love to give him like a Doctor Evil chair. Yeah. 
That'd be great. Well, if you have that, you have to get a cat. I can get a van cat. Van mm -hmm. cat? Van cat. Just lives in the van. That was the name of our ex-prime minister's rock band. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, what? The van cats. That was Stephen Harper's rock band. <laughs> Isn't that a play? No. Cats? Yeah. Cats is a play, yes. Put not the not musical. The cats. Van, van cats. Van cats? Van mm -hmm. cats. Knockoff version. It's 24. I'd love French to bring my cat. cat. That's also the Prime Minister's address. So I don't know if she'd be a good van cat. Can you stop with the Prime Minister stuff? Just <laughs> talking about van cats is all I'm talking about. You said something about his address. Yeah. Van cat. <sighs> that's why that's that's the whole conversation no, we're having here. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm back on board. Okay. My sister's cat would be a good van cat. What would make a good how, van how cat? Do you, how do you uh, a cat that just wants to sit on your lap and doesn't want to play with wires. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't want to sit on warm electronics? Yeah. My cat's only interested in things that I'm currently using. So the this? <laughs> All of this. Joy box, yeah. The cat's the dive chief now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go look for mice. I don't know what. <laughs> Uh, they can't all be gems. Cats like fish too. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Let's go. Let's go look for some fish. <laughs> You're right, Josh. Fish. You're oh, when I was working right. from home, my cat finally realized that there are fish on my screen, and oh, that goodness. was a really fun day. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. Where are you going, Trevor? I'm going down lower. Cool. <coughs> okay, perfect. Yeah, you guys missed a. Uh, um, Pod of uh, porpoises just came by the boat. You uh, missed a pod of two porpoises. Really? porpoises. Yeah, maybe a few um, dolls porpoise, the black ones with the white blotches. Oh, I've never seen cool. those before. They're really cool. They do the rooster tailing, so yeah. you can see them coming from a while. So they just kick oh, cool. up water. Oh, that's as they're cute. In. Yeah, they're really fast. Oh man, I'm sad I missed them. You get to see this. I get to see this, but you know, this is recorded. I can see it again later. We can record <laughs> the dolls porpoises. <laughs> Hey, LV team, is it safe to restart the driver for the CTD again? Uh, stand by. Yeah. Stand by, stand uh, by. No. Do you want it on first, right? Um, if and possible, then, yes. And then do the CTD driver. Okay. So that makes sense. CTD is on. Now you can restart the driver. Can you write down that the ICL was your groundiest maximus? Yeah, sure. Can you leave maximus? the book somewhere Thank where you. I can't find it, Trevor? Yeah, it's just right there. See, I couldn't find it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's where I put it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's looking good. So Atalanta's still making its way north. The ship's finished. Yep, ship's done. Back row. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, uh, we're curling around into Grotto Zone with Atalanta, and eventually we're going to keep cruising around all the way through Rogers Pass ish is that correct well the idea right now is to go check up the uh, check out the um, Maris string that's up kind of north of here I can't see it on the current nav screen but okay and we get there yeah the whole point I thought this we're doing this so we can uh, move around and head north we can head north right now yeah it's um do you want to do that yeah as soon as the RV is ready to do that yeah yeah, I think we can do that. We're going to give up on this beautiful area and instead head somewhere else, which is probably also beautiful. So you've worked your way around the... Okay. We haven't gone all the way into the zone no, here. No, so, but this is where the landslide was or the... Yes, that's right. The slide. Rock slide. All right. All right. Should I do another 20 meters north? I don't know how far. Let me get a sonar hit first. Yeah, how far are we going? It's really tough to use the right nav, now. the map. Yeah, the, the map is really hard because to understand of because yeah. of the offset. So it's like... It puts us on south side heading straight into Grotto. But we're here right. on the map. Yeah, we're just on the other side. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, we're, <coughs> yeah, we're here. Yeah, we're not really there. We're, we're not really <laughs> The the This is the thing we just cru cruise around. Ooh, okay, on so we were on the top of this. Yeah. 
All right. And now we're heading north to seismic uh, northwest. We're going to this seismometer chain one. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to still be able to see bottom so we can find the cable. I think it's quite a bit north, but um, we want to be able to see the bottom so we can follow Roger. the cable if we see it. Okay. And it goes all the way outside of Grotto and. It does like a big. You can see it kind of on your uh, on your map here. It's like, see this big yellow loop? Oh, it loops way up and comes back down southwest? Yeah, that's the one. Roger. Let's pass. Pass. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> okay, that was good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> took, me, took me a good uh, about sec to get that. That's good. 40 meters. Everything's been offset about 20 meters. Can you remind me the uh, highest thing in between here and there? Aside from Grotto. Okay, give me, you're, you're talking to me, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay, give me some seconds here then for some that. Some seconds. You can just hang out. Go ahead, Bridge. Megan's got it somewhere. There is a better version. Yeah, that sounds great. Version. Thanks. A better version. Okay. Do whatever you want, Oriel. <laughs> All right, so. Where's the other page? Mm -hmm. Which is not so big. I like okay. all these tube worms. Mm -hmm. Can't see. Can't mm -hmm. see. Okay. Do we need this ICL? Yeah, on it's tough to say. We do not need the ICL. If on. you. <coughs> there is a peak. De like. Is this still, you're still currently at Grotto or you've moved north? Uh, we've moved north. We're, does Grotto refer to that bump? Or the, the one where the bars was, Or right? the whole uh, uh, zone. Yeah. Well, we're, we're in the north. Grotto is this bigger bump. We're on the north aspect of that pit. That okay, yeah, and so it goes down so like and now like it kind of. there's a little saddle. Yeah, it's, uh, it goes into a saddle and now you're on the other rise on the other side, right? That's right, yeah. So here, I've got a more detailed map. I'll come show you. Try I'd love that, yeah, please. I like maps, 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 maps. Old man maps? Old man maps, he makes <laughs> maps. <laughs> oh, copy, is it on you? here? So, Grotto is, Grotto is here where our stuff is. Yep. It's like over here. I'm here. So we just went through the saddle, we raised up. Yeah, you're like quite a lobby. Lobby, so we're kind of in here heading into those kind of things. There is a higher point here. Okay, so there's a peak. We want to kind of head over here. So. I don't know how tall this is, but let's just check it out. But there is a peak on this side that you want to look out for. But it's not like huge, it's just bigger. It's comparable to Grotto. So Grotto is 13.5, that one is 12.4. Okay, great. Let's send it. Let's go okay. Lobby is smaller. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you know it. I know there's 18, 24s. Yeah, you just never know. <laughs> Sometimes these things are spires. Yeah, it's crazy. Where are we? Oh, all right. Yeah, might as well. All right, ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. Great snap. <laughs> Thanks for checking. I appreciate that. Hi. Can uh, we make a 40 meter move? Uh, three four zero. Point two would be great. Thanks. Yeah, here I am bugging you for doing exactly the right thing. <laughs> 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 
You know, if there weren't big rocks sticking out of the bottom, I wouldn't be so concerned. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Especially when they're spewing like molten liquid hot thing. magma. Liquid. Magma. Hey, somebody's knocking on my chair. That means it's lunchtime. Hey, did you get your uh work? Did you? Oh, I, that'll happen at 12:30. I think is the next round. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay. What was the bearing of that move? Three four zero. Thank you. What are you doing, Josh? You can't just say that and leave. <laughs> right. Oh. Yep. We're going to go look at uh, the seismometer, the ancillary platform. Uh, but we're navigating our way away from Grotto, past North Tower, and in the direction of Loeb. I'm assuming low B. Um, well, Ricky, is that CTD working now? Yes, CTD is working, streaming data. Okay, I wonder perfect. what that white thing is and sticking out. To answer your question, Dirk, from earlier, what uh, the ground fault is, or was that AJ at that time? I don't AJ, know. I think it's AJ. Uh, 91 kilo ohms at this point. The 80, sorry, the 47 was the ICL. Okay. And these are showstoppers, ROV ground faults if they get worse, or is this just kind of interesting? It'll burn pins off of your connectors. Yeah, okay. So I don't care about your connectors. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't even know where the ground Can I have some delta, on the, please? On the ICL would be. Oh, on that thing. Gotcha. It's got 740 connectors, so it's probably some one of those. Yeah. Too many connections. Yeah. Try and make it only one. All right, I'm going to not fit through here, but I really wish I could I'm come up and over this. What's that, like, long white thing? I was trying to get down low enough. Mm -hmm. I couldn't quite. Ah. I think it's just bacterial mat hanging off a yeah, you're probably right. tubulator. So it is really hard um, to <coughs> know. So if you can. Yeah. There's a marker that's helpful for you for nav. What marker? There's a marker. That on, yellow? Yeah. That probably tells us where something is. Yeah, um, Steve would probably know if he's watching. He is watching, so maybe he's going to chime in. So there's a, a very pretty tall looking tower on your right there. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you're at North Tower. What's your depth right now, Trevor? Two one eight six meters. Two one eight six. And Jeb, you're still taking pictures of this? Yep, I'm snapping away. Snap, snap, snap. Hey, Jeb, are you there for the discussion about ground faults? Uh, no, I just missed it. I heard the ICL loop is giving you trouble. Uh, not me trouble. <laughs> uh, so we kind of we isolated both. It looks like the ICL has a ground fault of about 47 kilo ohms, and the ONC CTD has about 91 kilo ohms. So I was asking, what is your low threshold before we uh, turn power off the instruments. Well, the ICL was only in use for the uh, gas tight sampling, so it can be turned off anytime. Yeah, it's off. Okay. So from when when we were at um, all that stuff at Grotto, how, how far away have we moved to the north, to the northwest? 
kind of that north northwest direction. From the MEF camera? Yeah. Camera, we have moved. I'd go from the USBL target. I don't believe my DBL right now. Just for Herc's location. It is three, uh, 25 meters. 25 meters, so that's not very far. No. No. So we're definitely not at like Dante, which, which is way over on the other side. Um, it should be on the other side of these. There should be a saddle in behind this. I mm -hmm. think what we're looking here is like that. Megan's got a note here. Lobe. Can Lobo I get this bigger, please? Something. Maybe 30 meters on the so yeah. yeah, no problem. Question, are we surveying this seismometer or are we swapping it? Oh, there's a cable down there. Yeah, down Roger, I see it. Okay, so we're on the other side. Uh, we're just going to survey. We're just having a look at it. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. I'm going to take a look at that cable, find it in bubble cam, and then turn left and go southwest to that seismometer. Is that correct, Dirk? You're fine. Yes. Okay. If we're in the right spot. I mean, but I, I agree with you that left is the direction you want to go. Roger that. I'm going to go ahead. Look for it in bubble, then kind of look around to the left, see what I see. In terms of the CTD uh, ground fault, I don't know, Dirk, Dirk or Ulrike, is it most important that we have the up and down uh, profiles of the ascent and recovery, or while we're tooling or touring around on the seafloor? That would be a question for Steve. I think in between the lines, I heard that we are more interested in having the CDD data close to the smokers to get the water properties. Okay. So Jeb, just to clear it up, your concern about the um, about the ground fault? Yeah, I don't have a good sense of numerically what you know the threshold would be for calling it quits on running that port. But if we want to maximize the life of that connector and instrument, we might want to decide when to keep it on, when to give it a break. Okay. And Shane might also have some spare cables. We could do something next That's time the sub's on deck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we've got this guy. Here we've got this guy. <laughs> um, on the pictures they've got, it doesn't have bead bags on there, but that's kind of convenient that it's there. Mm -hmm. That means we don't have to do your drop, go get something and come and drop it, right? Completely agreed, unless you need those for the new deployment. Yeah, so this Maris interface unit, this is what we are looking for. You can see how the cable turns from an oily to a uh, to a blue cable. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly it. We have three bead bags sitting there. Um, let's just scout out a region to bring the new one to. That's Is there a spot that's really close? Because we're going to have to bring over the new interface can and swap floats over to it. But it needs to essentially be touching... That. Yeah. Can we? Is the cables long enough? We could have it mirror imaged, uh, kind of put right here. Uh. Would that be all right. Uh, I don't yeah, know where. I'm not just so worried about the cables reaching. I'm more worried about the float pack reaching because we're currently trying to make it as short as possible so it's not dangling all over the um, tool basket on recovery. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking is if the Let's, let's see, yeah, let's have a look at the where the bridle is, because we want to clip it to the bridle. And clip the floats to the bridle? Yeah. They're gladius, not clips. Okay, so they've got them set up for gladius, so... Yes, which is why I'm thinking I'd like to see the other platform over here, so you can just reach and stab. So when you say over there, you're talking about, I'm going to do a little thing yeah, right here right. for you. Let's see. Do it. Mark. i got to figure out my deal here. How does my shoe come on? You're thinking right there? Okay, can we move yes. 10 meters 160? Perfect. Okay. Thanks. I don't know. How does that make you feel? That makes me feel good because, especially, I'll, we need to go and confirm which side of that the floats are attached to, but I think that works well because I'm not worried about cable length. It looks like there's lots of cable. Okay, great. We will take a look at that cable coming in from your kind of your this direction I'll draw this cable just to see if there is a little flexibility there but sure. it does look like there's some slack okay and then of course we're gonna need to put the thingy on the thingy right the <laughs> float on the 
Oh. I didn't narrow that down. Okay, the <laughs> small blue cable plugged into the white thing covered in bead bags. It's yeah. going to need to go on the green grating. Yeah, so we take off the bead bags, put it back on the green grating. Um, so one question is, can we get a mark for this a location on our NAP I system? I just did that. You it's did on, that? on your center dine screen. So this is seismometer one. Seismometer one. Trevor. Hello. Do you want me to take that turn out okay. of our lamp? Yeah, sure. Or leave it for now and take it out whenever it quiets down. If you go pause the uh, same be going next. Yeah, yeah, you, you can go. go go ahead. Trevor okay. it might be worth our while. Go slow though. Hey yeah. uh sorry to interrupt. Um there's also bead bags over here. Just wanna let everybody know. Are those know. bead bags or are those plume like pillowy? They're not bead bags, they're what you said. Ignore <laughs> me. Plumey uh, pillowy. Yeah. Um I think I think if we're gonna land that um new platform right behind this one, we should probably put that seismometer clear that area right now yeah, so we absolutely. have a better landing spot so i'm just going to try and see here where they lift off with this make sure that port's turned off must be okay so there's Looks like there's lots of cable. Um, well, Ricky, can we confirm that JB5 or J5 on JB12 is turned off? Your auto head or no, is off. J5 on JB12. So it won't go with the auto head off no, at all? The plus 10 is uh, changing your auto head set point. Just the auto head set point, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I don't see us having any issues with cable length from the on the blue cable. Yeah, I'm just gonna go check out this cable. Yeah, I, I agree. Right. That's a good thing. Just, just Thanks. be aware that in between, there's this kind of this range of hills, kind of on your left, back, back towards Grotto. Roger, as in, don't get myself stuck. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's really stuckable, but stuckable. stuckable, stuckable. This looks pretty good over here. Yeah, a lot of slack. Yeah, I think we could make that work. You're in a good passage. There is, um, it's pretty steep and tall to your right. Yes, just a heads up. Understood. Steep and tall. Okay, I'm going to come back to where I was. Can you come up on your delta, please? What do you want to come up to? Uh, 38, just for the... Yeah, Steve, if you can well, see... I'm, I'm you can see the camera camp. lights in our... Um, in the Argus view, or the Atalanta view, you can see them off on the kind of the top of the screen, yep. which is where we came from. So that means you're looking south. So they kind of yeah, right. okay. that gives us a really good direction. <coughs> okay. Yeah, that's good there. Thanks, Dirk. I'm going to run down and chat with Shane about CTD cabling for the ROV real quick. Okay. I'm going to leave that right about there, I think. The it's close enough, Atalanta. Yeah, great. Sounds good. Uh, okay, what would you like to do? We want to first clear, because we're when we bring down the new platform, we're going to want to place it right where that sensor is right now. The sensor is the white tube with the yeah, blue Roger. cables coming out of both ends. Roger. So if we can position ourselves on the other side to stage that. <coughs> if you can let me know when we have confirmation. So, oh, Ricky, thank you. Um, Dirk. Yes. Uh, sorry, I haven't formed this thought fully yet. No, no, go, just take your time. <coughs> if we land the other interface, Maris interface, Stooger, Maroney. Yep. Uh, in that spot that you drew the spot for. Yeah. I don't think we want, I think we want the connectors coming out the same way. I think I said the wrong thing earlier. Yes, okay. Because we're not going to be able to sit down over there. That'll be down slow. To do the mate eventually, to you're talking about. Eventually. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well that's a good thing to mention because that would mean that we have maybe a little bit of time now to um, make sure that the pulp, like the transfer, the transfer beaners or lattices are on the right side of that thing. Yeah, agreed. Otherwise, we could really get ourselves stuck. Because I like the landing spot. I think that will work probably-ish, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we can have some more zooming in at some point once 
were settled out. And just kind of unplug the cables, put them to the side. Once it's clear, we'll just stretch them out, you know, a meter or two yep. farther over to the right of the screen. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I don't know about, I don't think we'll be able to land on that side facing in. Yeah, and I don't think there's any need to disconnect that this platform yet from the cables because we've got a lot of room to do that later. Great, okay. So the main thing is just to get this on that, uh, so I think get this back on this grating. So it's, it's kind of, you know, where it sits, right? You saw it in the tool basket right yep. there. Yep. Okay. So first step is take bead bags off. Second step is grab sensor. And third step is put it on the green grating, I think. Yeah. So because I can't land over there, probably once we get all the stuff off, we'll grab the sensor, pick it up. I'll fly a foot and a half forward, and then we'll put it down. Is that OK? Uh, can you go over that one one more? That's Stop here, pull bead bags off, put off to the right. Yep. Somewhere. Step two, grab sensor from wherever we're allowed to grab it. Yep. Step three, slide the vehicle forward to the green grating. Yes. Before yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Systems confirmed that, confirmed that the port is off. Okay. Thank you. All right, so you're good to, to touch. Great. Roger that. Uh, you can get the arm out, but don't grab anything yet. Yeah. The auto heading, that's what's happening here. Silly and me. Once we've got this done, we will um, pick our spot for how we want to get here later on with the ones we're dangling the tool basket blowers, not the tool basket, but the other frame. Okay. And You're then. Uh, yeah, stand by one. Take your time. And at that point, we should think about lowering the tool basket on the acoustic release and where we want to put the ROV for that operation. Okay. Okay. Hydraulics coming on. Roger. Uh, index is the front one. Okay. Okay, so we went around this, um, no, no, we didn't get lost. We were just kind of hard to know where we were, but it's like we started here, we went over top of this, found it just on the other side of this stuff. We found the interface platform. Ah. Closes so the other switch. <laughs> we've decided that we want to land the new one there. Uh, that seems to be the only spot. Yeah, we already did that. That is quick and dirty. Nice. So, um, in order to land it, we just want to make sure this cable's not in the way. So we're going to take these bead bags off. We've already confirmed that it's been turned off, and then yeah. place them off to the side where we can reach them. Place this on, and then we're going to go back, keeping in mind Sorry. how we're going to get the new frame here, <sighs> oh, and then okay. assess where we're going to land this Hold tool on. basket. Get out of there. Is that ja you have? Okay, yeah. so we'll figure out the transit to that. Sorry, I fell off the rock. Was there anything okay. else survey-wise that needed to be done? Because I don't see, any, we didn't okay, really check ahead. anything off, so it's hard for me to kind of jump in and... Yeah, if you can just, while they're doing this, just catch me up on that. That's where we're putting them, just in here? Yeah, somewhere that we can grab them later if we need, but they're out of the way for now, no problem. Sure. Nice. Hmm. That holds a bit deeper. <laughs> I was hoping it would be one of the ones that's actually like a crack into the center of the earth. <laughs> yeah. Never to be seen again. If you need me to move to get that, let me know. Sound oh, right. you got it.
Hey, not... back row. Yeah, go ahead. Can we grab this sensor th on the white pipe, or do yes. you have to use the... No, okay. no, there's no... The white pipe's fine. Great. There's no other place to grab it. Not the little threaded rods, whatever. No. Awesome, white pipe it is. Um, so... <clears throat> so my plan is to... Dave's going to grab that, lift it up. I'm going to fly up onto that rock and put it on the green grating. They're talking. Okay. I'm just going to do it. Dave's just going to do it. Okay, you're good there, Dave. All right, stand by. I want to put a grip lock on first. Roger that. Which is that one. Yep. And frozen. Okay. I'm coming up. Yep. I'm coming up. I'm... I'm Takes a little while to get moving, but when she does, she starts, she goes nice. Gotta take off all my other inputs in order to go up. Come on. Why is it heavier then? Because we picked up this thing. Yeah. Let me uh, try that again. Here we go. Why is that leaded line up? Hmm? Can you put that down, please? Drop it? Yeah, just place it as close as you can. I don't like why that... Why is that leaded line so high? Am I attached to it? That's fine for now, yeah. Am I just... Missing something? Oh yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dolt. Okay, arm safe. Okay, I'll uh, land and we can move that one more time. Okay. Okay, you should have it there. Yeah, see how much you can get that squared up on that grating. <coughs> one of the little holes, one of them's through it, I think. Oh yeah, you might have to pick up on that side, I guess. That side's very grabby, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Needy. Yeah, probably. That's in there, Mitt. What are the, oh, no. uh, did the thing fall in one of the graded holes? Mm -hmm. I think so. Many of them. Cool. 
It should be able to come back out. Like it shouldn't be. Just gotta get the alignment right. I think we have to do the same thing on the deployment. So I think it does go. Hmm. Shush, you get your uh, rip, rip. You get swabbed. Yeah. Okay. Sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> nice, there it is. Okay. I haven't got. Uh, hang on a minute. Index. Is this where we're going with it? Yes. On here? Yeah. Right here? Lovely. Great. Okay, it's on the rock on the far side, but that's fine. Hello, Science Row. Oh, you're not on. I was like, I don't think I hear Some you. Some reason on this computer I hear hydraulics are off when I okay. talk, mm -hmm. even when I'm not on mic. Okay. Um, yes, go ahead, Trevor. What's up? So. We are gonna, next step is to go see, find a suitable way to get the new Maris frame over to this frame. So whichever path we were gonna take is uh, the path to the tool basket. And I believe you guys have already mapped out a tool basket landing zone. Uh, yes. Okay. Ready, marked a place for us. Where for was that. that located? It's a little bit south of here. Give me a second because we want to go back there and then set up for tool basket over the side. That's the next step, tool That's basket? That's the next step. Cool beans. You've talked to somebody about the position of the gladiuses? Yes, AJ is on it right now. Roger that. Tool basket landing zone. Yeah, we took a fix earlier. Great. Should be right here. Um, so this is the more up-to-date dive plan sure. than this one. Exactly. Oh no, this is just skipped through the step, Never mind. I don't know. It was just here when I got here. Is it even for Maine and Devon? <laughs> so, so it's about Trevor, 22 meters yeah. away from where Can we are now. Okay. See the, just for future, see the bridle off the top of this one? Yep. Can you just zoom in on that knot there? Right in the center? Right in the center because we want to Okay, video know where zoom to in, grab please. it. Okay, I think it's pretty obvious by the monkey's fist, but let's just confirm. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to clip the floats into that back portion of the grating, and we're just going to have to hold it by the monkey's fist. So it's going to come up a little sideways. Okay, you can come wide. Thank you, video. No problem. Who wants to go get tested? I need to go, so... No, we... No, it started again. It... I got mine on the first round, so I'm set. Have you been? Okay. You can go. We can figure it out. Sure, video. New style, yeah. Hey, Rennie.
Maybe. Maybe. Confirming we're still waiting on you folks, right? I can't. Can't hear you. Wireless. Can't see, can't, can't hear. Can't see. Can't, can't see, hear. can't hear. Okay, can we, um, we've got a best, best guess at the best path back to the tool basket Great. landing zone, okay. but you won't... Can you come check this out on this map, or I can bring it up to you? Let's bring it up to me. Yes. So the chalk. Bring, bring it to us. Look at the sunset. Nice. Please. It's, a, it's not setting at all. I was going to say, I, but you never know, it's right? Not. So disoriented on time of day. <laughs> yep. Sure. All right, so. Team huddle. Uh, should put that on side three. Oh, let's do that. Side three, camp in two. Oh, no. Kind of see that meeting. Just take a look at the map and figure out our path here. Who's that? This one would be better. Videos off comms. Hey, Lil okay. Rick, Lil Rick, it's Jeb. Hey, Jeb. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Where's Jeb? That's fine. Anyone, you're all welcome to listen. I'm on the party line. I was just wondering if we uh, chatted to Shore Science about uh, priorities for the ROV CTD in terms of keeping it off as often as possible to preserve the uh, ground fault. Oh, it's right now it's 100, like 92K. That'll be fine. That's high enough? I'm, I'm more asking if it keeps dropping, when okay. should I turn it off? When's my, nope, no more. Do you have a gut feel on that or some empirical data? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. 10K is very, but is no good. Yeah. Well, it's 24 volts, 15 volts. We could work out the current probably. And, yeah. Um, it's 24 volts or 15 volts or some number. Yeah. Science. What are we at? No, CCD. I don't remember. So we'll definitely want to take a look volts. at it when it gets back topside. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. let me know. Anyway, 93K right now. Okay. I'd say 50 is, I wouldn't want to go below 50, really, okay. without asking. It's been at 47, which I've been calling good. But Right on the line? Yeah. Okay, we'll take a look at it when it comes up. Oh. 
That's not over yet. No. But I thought we were going to do a bunch of trips. Yeah. So we're just waiting? Yeah, but the trips come after the tool basket's down. I know, but that's why I was like... Yeah, we still got to land the tool basket. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is that the next so, thing? I think so. I think... I don't know if there's a reason to stay here or what we're doing, but I think we should be heading back over to the tool basket landing zone and then moving... Like, once we get the ship there, then, then we, we move. bugger off. Yeah. Is that correct? Is that yeah. kind of the process? Okay, let's do that. And we can do that straight shot... We you just were in the huddle, go right? Straight to the we can do this guy just to scope it out. Okay. So it's not quite straight. I guess it's got a, a little bend in it, but pretty straight. Eh, I, I mean, we won't do the bend since we're going to come up off the bottom a bit. Yep, that's true. So. Fair enough. All right. Let's see. How I want. I guess we could just come straight south. Atalanta. Atalanta. But Straight south. I don't know. That might bring us over top of the grotto. That's great. I don't. Uh, so the camera, the camera's on the far side of this. That's yeah. like this. And so if we go straight down, we're going right yes. over this like hump. Yeah. So maybe we do want to do yeah, two that's moves thinking. and just go bump 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 bump. I think that's the a good call. The first set, first move can be this strike, which is whatever, 225 or so ish. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, that looks like a good number of meters. 40, 40 meters, 225, and then make another to 25, go the one, 140. I hope you don't expect me to remember those numbers. I will remember them. Okay. Saying them out loud so I remember them. Roger that. <laughs> Let's get going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, Bridge. It's Nav. We are ready for a ship move. We would like to go about 40 meters, 225. Hey, video. There's no way to eavesdrop on video. No. Uh, so this is the right side. So I R, yeah. The oh, left mix an L. Um, I'm having trouble changing my right screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. We're going some which way. I'm going to go over here, which is the wrong way, first. Yeah, sure, wrong way. Okay, let's go the wrong way. Is the ship moving? Yeah. The ship is moving. Oh, man, I'm behind. Yeah, hurry up, dude. We're going places. We're getting things done. We're going, well, I'm going places for sure. <laughs> Purgatory. <laughs> Tight delta. Mm -hmm. Big lumps. Jeff, are you thing. tracking what Steve's kind of saying on this comments about the CTD? I just grabbed my laptop. Uh, That's plenty of delta. Right now. Yeah, if you go on the stakeholder engagement. Mm, um, too chat. much? Uh, I'm coming up, so don't worry about it, but yeah. yes. <laughs> Trevor did let us know that the isolation fault is uh, not quite as severe. But uh, I chatted with Shane downstairs, and we could probably swap some cables and bulkhead connectors if we need to on the instrument. So let's run her till she breaks. I think that's philosophy right now. I'll just catch up with Steve. Love okay. it. 
Yep, it's yep. just so impressive how it just precariously balances itself. I know, it's incredible. I mean, it's kind of obvious when you say it out loud, but it's still cool that these sculpture, or these structures Look, are well, that's a good one. only yeah, able good. to support themselves because they're in water. Like, you could mm -hmm. not have this structure in air because it's not strong enough. Yeah. Too much gravity. It's incredible. Ugh, gravity's the worst. My <laughs> least favorite. Always getting you down, hey, Josh? <laughs> yes. Oh, Love I, it. Thank I you, Dirk. I'm going to be a dad soon. You know, I'm so just warming angry up. at myself <laughs> no, right now, Dirk. I love it. Thank you for that, Dirk. If you are you going to start? Is that your new thing? Because yeah, you're going to be a dad. You're just that's wait. You're going to be a dad. Even though I didn't oh, know. Yeah, September Congratulations. September 29th should be. Oh, he wow. thinks he's going to be a dad. Huh. <laughs> uh, September. Yeah. So there's some time. But just warming up, it's... Yeah, you gotta be ready. Yeah, it's natural too, I'm not even trying. You're mm -hmm. warming up your dad jokes? That's what people say happens. Do you yeah. watch Forged in Fire too? <laughs> are, you, are you into World War II documentaries? Yeah. No, not there. I think that's, yeah. No, I'm doing the smoke smoking barbecue TV shows, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cookhouse mm -hmm. challenge, that kind of stuff. Yeah, good call. So smir smoking a turkey for Thanksgiving. Oh. Do you guys do that in Canada? Um, uh, I I know you don't smoke it, but what I do, yeah, no, it's in a full oven. No. Yeah. Oh, I do do the brine tricks mm. where you soak it overnight mm. in like the brine solution. Classic. Oh yeah. Yeah, mm. that, that's that makes it easy. But a smoked turkey, that would be pretty good. Smoked turkey is amazing. Nothing's better. Than what are you talking about? Turkey. My brother does the deep fry. He moved no, to the States, uh, Louisiana, and then simmer he's been deep frying his turkeys ever yeah. since. Oh, oh, yeah. Deep frying <laughs> the turkey, yeah. Just getting a little tug tuggage. Do you ever stuff the turkey with a duck? Oh, a turducken? I was going to say, <laughs> a yeah. A chicken? <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I do, you, that's the other thing I do is you don't put the stuffing in the turkey. Mm -hmm. Right. No. You put all the other goodies in there. This, I know the verdict's out on that one. But. Yeah, you put all the other stuff in there, the, the sweet potatoes, the... The pumpkin pie. The Brussels sprouts, <laughs> the pumpkin that's, pie. That's how you bake your pies. Everything goes in the turkey, <laughs> yeah, and the then turkey. you have to cook all the stuff. That's Everything cool. for Thanksgiving has to go inside the turkey. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not... You pull it out, put it in a blender, and... need a bigger turkey. <laughs> straight to a camelback. <laughs> oh. You need a whole different breed of turkey for this. Oh, disgusting. There are breeds of turkeys? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't think it's as yeah. crazy as chickens, but I do think there are different kinds of turkeys. <laughs> and there's also different dialects of turkey. Like, you can speak to turkeys in different <laughs> languages. Yeah, apparently. I don't know. I was apparently. Uh, <laughs> what is your source? <laughs> yeah. So, so I was turkey. on a job so down in different, Florida. Different gobble gobbles? That's word of mouth. <laughs> and, uh, and this guy we ran into... Um, he had a flock of turkeys, and he was telling me about how he speaks seven dialects of turkey. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is your source. You got, you got gobble gobble. I know. So yeah, turkey you know, I was whisper. in the middle of, like, nowhere Florida, <laughs> digging holes, and this, this man told me about his turkeys. That's one of Megan's hobbies is digging holes. <laughs> yeah, okay, only in Florida, though. Only in Florida. <laughs> hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do for fun. What yeah. is, it's it's oh. impressive how well you can see the Trevor. What are you doing? I'm waiting the for camera you. Camera relative to the to her. Hurry up! All the ups and downs, and it looks like it's just right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Steve, I saw that a little late, but I'm assuming you were talking about that really active, um, active plume. Which was on North Tower. I think that's the one we just passed. I think we just passed North Tower. The one that was like very, essentially very like a house-sized chimney. Oh, that's north of uh, Rogers that's Pass. Yeah, North Tower is, is west of Grotto. And we are currently south southwest of grotto or just getting to southwest of yeah. grotto here yeah i didn't go over the top of rogers pass i was one uh yeah so that was definitely north tower he was at he was oh, like he was this here. guy here Do -do -do. grotto is here he, j he hit it about there <coughs> so moving around through this this is all out of whack yeah but i think this is the path he took which was 
Um, so. okay. Around this side. So like on the bathymetry, here. bathymetry, that's North Tower. So they're okay. talking about we just went through that North channel. Tower, okay. we can this see one's called Rogers Pass. You can see the oh, camera okay. lights. Mm -hmm. And then where we are <laughs> relative to the camera lights. The only thing in between there, I think, is North Tower. So That's such a cool vantage with the lights. Yeah, the camera, like, we feel like we're like half an hour transit away from the Maris Trans, and then you still see the camera in the background <laughs> give you a reference. So we're like, like if we match it up to here, it's like this, because here's the Grotto camera. Ding. And we're yeah. like over here. I won't. I think we're like <laughs> over. Grotto camera is there. Yeah, it's tough to say. Because I don't know what heading that is. Um, I don't know which way the camera lights were facing, but but I think we're. This is where we know we hit Grotto when mm -hmm. we hit all these pings, and we're like perfectly How west far of we it. Gone? Yeah. Okay. And there's a spire in between, so it's gotta have been north. Ten of forty. Or somewhere here. Okay. Yeah, that checks. From here, some time. right? Yeah. Maybe I'll go look at stuff. Here's Grotto. And now we're like here. I don't want this. And we on. came down essentially dead south from here. Which kind of lines up with our. And so we're kind of coming around this way. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of we're gonna drop here into like. Yeah. The the like where's the sediment trap by the way? The newly deployed sediment trap. I see it. You see it? Oh, the autonomous one? Yeah, the one we just dropped. Uh, 20, 2022, 05? No, 2023. 2023. Oh, never mind. I don't know where that is. Like, you know, like well, it's, there's a... Do you think it's maybe over there? Well, there's a mark on it oh, there. Oh, the, one, an the estimate. one over here? Yeah. Okay, so it's it's probably actually up like there. Yeah, it's too far up. We yeah. can't see We haven't here. actually had eyes on it. No, but it's the same. No, it's it's like that's further the last than what the camera is from us. Yeah, that's the last USBL. Yeah. Oh, is it currently pinging? Yeah, it is. Right there. This is it, right? Is that a ping from a USBL? Uh, Rennie said he pinged a couple of packages already. Oh, this is going to be cool. Look at the camera. And there's North Tower in between oh, yeah. us and the camera. That's so cool. Oh, that is really... There it is. I'm going to try something here. Just because it's... Yeah. We're waiting on the ship, so I'm kind of so taking creative what license we're heading here. right now is, can't see, 150, and we're looking directly over I'm top a valley of over. North Tower into the light on Grotto. ND. Yeah, this is a whole valley over. What's ND? This, oh, oh and try and do some yeah, yeah. dramatic reveal here. <laughs> Same lights, but they're one. They're over this mountain, down through the valley, and off across the far side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite an expedition to get there. Yeah, I'm not going to try to go there, but I am going to go. This is North Tower. This is North Tower, yeah. Looking east. Okay. And on the other side of this is Rogers Pass. Yes. Yeah. So we're here. This is acoustic scintillation territory, I think. So I want to try, eh. well, I'm waiting on the ship. So we essentially mm -hmm. just did Might the line well. for acoustic scintillation. We went right over top of North Tower. Josh, can you play with some lights, please? This can is you, North Tower. Can uh, you turn off my down lights first? Roger. Video, you're going to have to adjust. Down to lights are off. Okay, we'll can you turn off my mm, mm, uppers? Off. Okay, and then can you please turn off my mids? Off. So the far end of uh, super cool. Looks like the far end of acoustic scintillation is right where the seismometer is. Ish, in that very general direction. Oh, that's cool. Oh, whoa, look at that. Whoa, that's pretty wild. You see the smoke coming up. Uh -huh. That's Close awesome. and far. Whoa. That is. Wow. That'd be like a that cool uh, desktop background. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> All right. Turn on the mids, please. Thank you. All right. I was Thanks. not as close as I thought. That's good. So there's also another spire in between us and the. Okay, so we're looking. Bridge now. That's. 
It's fog over there, the smoke is, that's grotto That's smoke. grotto smoke, yeah. yeah. And then Rogers Pass is just down here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, is that the IP then below us there? Uh, IP probably is, is below much? us. Or no, it's something. No, this, that's it. Doesn't matter. Not sure. Uh, cool. Well, I'm going to stay off bottom for just a little bit until we get Atalanta clear of all the vents. And then as we approach the targeted landing zone, I'll come back down in the water column. Yeah, and I can see they're dragging out the release on deck. Can you remind me what the bearing is the movie just called? Uh, 140. 140. Thank you very much. I'm hoping to just sort of curve it around. Yeah, I love it. Oh, this is Lobo, this guy. I mean, they're uh, Lobo, Lobi, I don't know what this is. North Tower? Lobo, yeah. So there, so in the seismometer is right where TRX is there. There we go. So, yeah, we essentially did most of the acoustic simulation okay. route. So, camera's here. Yeah. And we came kind of this way, right? Yeah, so if we look on this guy, yeah, this is this one. This is all Grotto, mm -hmm. all Grotto, North Tower, North Tower, mm -hmm. which is there. This ridge runs this ridge. Mm -hmm. And then just on the back side is the seismometer, which is where TRX is just on the back side is the seismometer. And the route we took was... It's, yeah, kind exactly. Of over this way. We essentially took that exact dash line of yeah. acoustic scintillation. Yeah. So even that should be some some information, even if we don't get a chance to survey it later. Yeah, because we were right at the what's top. This what's this one? I don't know. That's maybe an alternate idea. Maybe that was the plan originally, and then it's just too complicated to do. Acoustic scintillation over Dante? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what he that said, is. He asked me how far we had to go. We're going to this X down here. Yup. Wasn't me. <laughs> this happened sometime around. Can I please get a reset? Seven in the morning or something. Yes, of course. Tanks. It did? Well, it was, it was normal when at six. Oh. So I don't know. So it was AJ? Could have been, could have been someone in between. It was me. Sure. Yep. I'm gonna come down as well. Still on a bit of a slope, so don't come down too much. Here's your IP. Have we seen this IP yet? This uh, this today? Yeah, we have. Kay. It's yeah. This is what we're looking at right here. So. Okay, Roger that. Oh, you're not on again. <coughs> it's got you know this month's date on it. Roger. Oh, double hit it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Was the larval traps? That was oh, our yeah, step I one. Oh yeah, I see them. Oh, Roger that. So Kay. for Fabio or hey Fabio, gives you a good idea where your larval traps are. All right, okay. <laughs> They're deployed. It's all good. Imagine being larva and just being trapped. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, there's some smoke. Mm -hmm. Can you come up, please? 
Keep it at 40. You're still on the towers. Yep. Huh? Yep. Yeah, just until we get above this IP with at least Herc, let's keep it high. Atlanta's a little smokier, what's going on there? Yeah, we just got a little cozy. Yeah, I'm still, I don't know, 20 meters in front. Steve would love that sample. At Atlanta right now? Look at all that. <laughs> Plume. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to cut it that close. Score. Who's is this? Megan, is this yours? Oh. I know he's holding out on us. I, yeah. I saw another wrapper over here earlier. There was a bag earlier. <laughs> no. no, no. So, I think we can go back to 35 kind of thing. Alright, so did they drop any marking for where we want this tool basket or anything like that? Just the wit and nav waypoint? Okay. There's nothing I'm physically trying to find, eh? Okay. Oh, you're off again. Come on. Yeah, there's a train wheel and a piece of grating right by the landing zone is what I was told. Train wheel grading, Roger. What's this, a little seismometer? Yeah, a little seismometer, it looks like. Is it going to feel the... Oh, yeah, I it'll probably feel the train wheel, or the <laughs> tool basket deployment. Is it going to feel the ROV flying around near? Uh, I don't know. I see no train wheel. But is this the location? Yes. Yes. It is. <coughs> this doesn't look like what AJ said. No, it... Oh, train wheel's over right. here, isn't it? No, the train wheel's somewhere over here. 
Okay, I'll go check that out. Uh, grading, I believe, if I'm going to have to go by memory. Is that it? There's a trainer right there. Yeah, that's where it cool. is. <laughs> There's a piece of grading over there, too. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Somewhere over there. Oh, so we're coming from here <laughs> right now. Okay, that's a good spot. Um, did they, Megan, did you guys find like a particular ideal spot that's flatter, but or just general in just that kind of? As far as I know, just general. Okay, so Trevor. Hello. That is our landing zone, somewhere in there. Ideally, kind of, I would say just to the left of that train wheel looks good. Okay. But um, just to the left of it, okay. Some Something we want to do is, cons I guess, consider where we want to hang out while this thing goes over the side. Uh, yeah, I think uh, down south-ish, whether that's southwest or east, that would be southwest. our favorite. I think east, right? No, wait, sorry, it's dropped over the... Sorry, sorry. With sorry. the ship's heading right now, pretty much due south is... Yeah, uh, that's what I meant. pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Due totally south. Meant. Yeah. And uh, as far as while it goes down, just out of curiosity, can you be as far down as something interesting like smoke and mirrors, or are you how far away do you want to be as it comes down? I bet Just we're going to be Come on. super far, as far as we can, almost basically stretched out. Yeah, 60, the reason I'm thinking this is so we have 60, something to look meters. at and take yeah. pictures of, and maybe we can do a photogrammetry of smoke and mirrors or something. I don't. Not that far, no. I don't think we can get that far. I don't know. Are we happy that uh, Atalanta is in its final resting place? Yeah, it looks like she's there. Okay, so my there. question for you, if we can go back up to the ship and the mm -hmm. whatever, you, you know what I'm saying. So, if this is here, that means this landing point would be here. What's the distance between here and here? Between you know, here and here? Here and the landing spot. I'm just picking that as the offset. If okay. that lands off the transom and the other wire is off here, then I'm just picking that as a... 27 yes. meters. Can we move the ship there, please? That'll probably put Atalanta right down here. Uh, so move the ship here. Uh, move the ship, whatever you said, 27 meters or whatever. Okay. Does that make sense or am I just crazy? So, so we want to hang out here? I would like to put this part of the ship, the tool basket, over top of this. Over top, oh, okay, but I, I don't, got I don't want to move this over there because if the transom's here, where the cable straight down brings us here. You with me? This this is a straight shot from there to there. Right, from here to here. That's a straight shot. And that's vertically, oh. almost vertically down, just because of currents or USPL mm -hmm. offset or whatever you call it. So I want to move this place, which is currently, if we drop a tool basket, it'll land right here. Right, so so the how much Atalanta gets pushed off is how much the basket can push Probably, off. yeah. I see. I got what you're talking about. Yeah. All right. I, I haven't pulled, yeah. Hmm? Pulling down, maybe, hmm? but... Come here. Hey, Just Alvin, wait, that laggy. might be handy. No, totally. No oomph. Hey, Trevor, quick question hey, for you. Dirk, quick answer for you. Um, as far as the deck operations, can we start preparing the tool basket for yep. putting over the side? Are you That's ready fine. for that? Yep. We're going to do one ship move, and we're also going to uh, leave to the south. Okay. So those are the two things we're going to do up here before we're ready to deploy. So, But uh, that'll probably take us 15 minutes this. max. Yeah, so he's saying um, there might be a small ship we move, and they might want to be out of the way first. But he's saying like 15 minutes max that we could put in the water. Sorry, and uh. Dirk, just to let you know, um. 50 meters. Some chat about the forward looking and the um. So I the grotto bars? Yeah. This so is in the, the current landing zone. dive plan, it has us, you know, doing the whole yeah, trajectory thing to take it out. There. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's totally and I want that to be so here.